Hello, welcome to another video. I'm currently in the plush pile. This video, we're going to go through some sales, what sold throughout September and early October, and talk about some annoying returns. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Let's go. Welcome to a what sold video um there hasn't been a what sold video for a while because i've been busy doing car boot videos but scenes that the likelihood there will be no car boots this weekend i thought i would create a what sold video and to show you well to show you what's sold um it's something happened to my ebay account and sales just dive bombed and i just think they've been making change in the background and it's knocked a few of the my preferences off um so the first thing i've done to try and combat this this reduced sales um i promoted every listing by one percent um that means i promoted to get the figure So I've currently got 4,701 active listings. So luckily eBay's got like a bulk tool, so you can just do it a 1,000 at a time, I think. So that's the first thing I've done, 1%. Um, second thing, I noticed in my business policies the something had happened to the returns. I don't think it had a return option on a lot of listings. Um, the reason I found that out was because there was an item that I was wanted to reduce the price. Um, I went to reduce it and it said I couldn't because there was no return policy. But as a business seller, you have to have a return policy. So I don't see how that's happened. So I went to try another one and the same, the same was happening there. And I think that was affecting my sales. So I... Um, edited my business policy clean them all up um, so since that point um, I had a nine uh, that day I done that I had a nine pound 99 day um, since then sales have just gone crazy um, this the last seven days I've done one and a half grand um, so yeah I thought I'd talk about sales and show you what was recently sold okay first up sfr street 86 quad rollers um size five roller boots um pick, paid five pound for these um half near court coming to the end of june um that's the second time i've sold these i sold like an orange pair uh again 40 30, 39.99 um decent sale there um you would have seen me pick up, if you watched the videos, um, a load of Play-Doh sets. Um, it was Play-Doh Buzz and Cut. Um, I think I got three for a fiver. Uh, they're all sold now. All three have sold. Uh, all at nineteen ninety nine. Really fast sellers as well. Um, I didn't think they'd sell as fast. Um, let's have a look. Um, I sold a Rampage the Movie large George Gorilla toy 34.99 again these rampage toys are big money um I've sold the Lizzie the crocodile from rampage twice I sold like a full version and a broken version um again rampage I paid three pound it, it was a recent car boot sale uh, it was one of the first things I picked up it was just like lying on the floor um three pound or three fifty um, again, thirty-four ninety-nine, pretty good sale for that. Um, I sold a pair of Nike Air Force Ones, solid red. Um, I paid five pound for these, I think. Um, again, thirty-nine ninety-nine, decent um, sale for them. I haven't, I have had them for a, a little bit longer, um, but yeah, it's good to get the um, de a decent price on them. Uh, another 39 a lot of my items seem to be 39.99 um 
Tommy Hilfiger jeans. I bought these in February. Uh, I know that because I put the date in the SK, in the SKU, the SKU box. Uh, paid five pound in um, February. They're a good waist size. I like picking up bigger waists because basically, if I don't sell them, I can wear them myself. Um, but thirty eight waist. Um, yeah, Tommy Hilfiger slat rag, thirty nine ninety nine. Decent jean sale there. Um, some recent skates I picked up. Um, they didn't take long to sell at all. I think they were five pounds. Yeah, they were five pound. Um, Anarchy Chaos aggressive rollerblades, fifty nine ninety nine. I think they sold within like three days within listing. So again, the aggressive inline skates tend to you tend to get more for them. Um, the aggressive ones are like proper built out at the bottom for um, what's it called gliding I can't remember what they do on the skates you know they do they wax up the curbs and on the pole so the more built up more built up around the ankle so it's like a solid um, solid boot yeah 59.99 for them um, lovely stuff um let's have a look now I sold you were, I can't actually believe this this happened uh Looney Tunes Speedy Gonzalez I think I paid a fiver um it sold for 29.99 and you know when you just have that feeling where you know that this is going to come back there was a it's one of these customers that asks questions and then you get another question, another question you're thinking, it's coming back. So the first question was, is it from a smoking pet free home? Like, yes, we don't have any pets and I don't smoke. Um, and then she asked a question about the eye. Was it scratched on the eye? And I think from the picture, it was just like a bit of hair that was coming down, so she thought it was scratched on the but then before I had the chance to answer that question, she bought it. Um, I replied to the, the, the message saying, oh, it doesn't smell like smoke and um, there's no scratch on the eye. So the other thing is it's got like a metal rim through its um, hat and she left a message saying, please wrap well and carefully. So you just know there's three things now that she's been in communication with, which is absolutely fine. Um, she gets it and then she opens a return and the reason for the return was because it was not cuddly enough so I just I'm just gobsmacked like I had to pay the return postage on that um, I've reported it to eBay and um, there's no point arguing there's no there's really no point arguing she returned it and um, yeah, I've had to refund her, so £29 out, £29, £29 in, £29 back out again, so it's a shame. Um, I paid, next one, tennis racket, I'll pick up a few tennis rackets, um, I paid a pound for this one, end of June, Wilson type of being graphite with a cover, um, that's over 30 quid. You know, easy to pack, wrap, um, bit of bubble wrap, bit of black wrap, and off it goes. Excellent. Just solid sale. Uh, what else? Yeah, um, you've seen this one in a recent video. This was a motorcycle jacket. Um, I picked up that a motorcycle jacket and the Toby the Robot, and there was, I think, it was £8 each. Uh, the jacket sold. That went for thirty nine ninety nine. Another thirty nine ninety nine sale. I should I should call this the thirty nine ninety nine video. Um. Uh, yes, yeah, so the motorcycle jacket and the Toby the robot sold as well. So that was twenty nine twenty two ninety nine. Um. Let's have a look. Yeah, Polo Express mug. Um. Recently. That sold, they had the little bell. Oh, you, I think you've seen that anyway, so I'm not going to include that. 
um, vintage soup recipe mugs. Now, you'll see these in charity shops on their own, just randomly on the table. Luckily, I come across like 17. Um, so, and there was three full sets. So I bundled them up into, into the sets. Um, I took one pic, they were all the same, so I just took one picture. Um, and then I, I said I had three, three in stock. And they all sold for twenty nine ninety nine. Um the one you look need to look out for is the Mulletagorni one, um, which is the Mulletagorni curry. Um I think that's worth twenty pound on its own. So try not to include that in a set if you've got a set, look to sell that one on its own and maybe do a set of five. Um because that's the that's the rarer one. Um then we had a NECA figure Godzilla twenty four ninety nine. Uh I can't remember what I paid for that. I think it was like six pound he wanted. Um, I picked up that and a King Kong. Um, so yeah, that was a decent sale. That was pretty quick. Um, brilliant plush sale. Um, I paid two pound two fifty for that. Alton Towers Smiler swivel head. The head turns around to to, to have a normal head or a swivel head. Um, yeah, that was thirty five pound. Um, I had an offer that was on fifty, I think, and I had an offer of thirty five pound. Uh, yeah, I took that. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hang on for for fifty. I took that, no problem. Um, some more skates. These were, I think, these were like two or three pound. Um, Ro Roche's biomes. Um, they went for fifty quid. Um, another great skate sale and yeah some tech deck you see me pick this up it was like one pound fifty that sold for eighteen ninety nine nice and easy in a box on off it goes um some guy bought four mini discs off me he was just he was doing loads of offers I went I went to pick the kids up from school I come back and there was like Eight offers. So like, what the hell is this? And it was all mini discs. And he was off he was offering some pretty low ball offers on some. But then some others were still low ball but not far off from what I was asking. So with them ones, I think they were on for like twenty five pounds, he was offering fifteen. So with them ones I counted at I can't remember what the counter was. I think he offered like twelve fifty, and I counted with seventeen. He come back with fifteen, and I accepted fifteen pound on four of them. So, that, which means that it was a sixty pound sale for four mini discs. Um, so yeah, that was good. You know, one one parcel. Um, I paid a hundred pound for a stack of twenty five thirty. Still got a little stack left. Um, next sale a portable Panasonic TV uh, again I had this on as offers but someone's just paid straight up no offers $69.99 um, I paid I think I picked this one off no that was the one off um, I paid £2 um, I picked, picked it up in a video there was two of them um, one had the cord cut and they tried to repair and I'm not going to mess with that that you know that's that's above my pay grade messing with electricals like that um so I ditched that one but yeah this Panasonic 69.99 um pain to pack um big box I what did I do loads of bubble wrap tons of bubble wrap Probably about half the roll. Um, then what did I have for that? Yeah. Then um, I put it face down so the the weight was on the bottom, so it wouldn't have like tipped over easily. Um, yeah, and I sent that through the post office. I think it cost like a tenner. Twelve kilo parcel. So yeah, brilliant sale. Um, and I always worry about it getting there. Um, 
he got there and I haven't had a message so yeah it's sort of all good he was tested anyway um, some trainers picked up some Adidas marathons um, I paid like £5 for these uh, that's over thirty four ninety nine, so that's a pretty good trainer sale. Um, let's have a look. Anything juicy? I've told you about that one, the Linux, Linux Seven Dwarfs teapot. That went for a hundred pound. Uh, Rockport boots, another thirty nine ninety nine sale. It's my favourite number, I think. Um, I paid in a recent car boot sale uh, eight pound for two. Two pairs. There was a issues with the sole, but that's in the listing. The guy knew about that. Um, this guy kept on offering me low, lower offers, and the and the the boots had quite a lot of watches on. So I was like, I'll oh, wait. I'll hold out for the the thirty nine ninety nine. In the end, he just paid, so that was good. Um, um, Doctor Martin's boots. They, I paid, I did pay twenty twenty pound for them. Well, I'm on for twenty five. Got them down to twenty. I put them on for fifty five, and I had an offer coming of fifty, and I took that. They went um, GSP. Um, then I picked up a stack of White Dwarfs magazines. Um, there was two stacks. This the guy at the car bit. It was five pound for every, the whole stack. But when I went through them, I could make two stacks because they were kind of different things. There's White Dwarf magazines and these magazines called Satronella, um, and it seemed to me like they were very old seventies role playing newsletters, and there was like a secret cult of students back in the seventies that would. Um, it was like the early start of role playing Warhammer, um, you know, and they'd all have their secret names like the, the White Wizard moves one space, and they'll have to send that off then to head office, and then they'd have to wait a week for um, another go. That's the way. It's, that's the way it seemed to me. Um, but the White Dwarfs, they sold for 30 quid. I did have that on an auction to start with because I was thinking it might get a little bit of traction because there was a few low numbers. Uh, the lowest one being issue 38. Um, I thought it might be worth a little bit more, but no. Um, let's have a look. Anything more interesting? Um... Yeah, sold an Xbox One controller. Now I've got this here. I paid a pound for this, and obviously you can see why I've paid a pound. It's smashed up, um, and I think I said in the video that you know you can sell them as spares and repairs. Now I'm going to block this buyer because I think that he couldn't fix it and sends it back, blaming. Um, I sent it in a box. The box was a little bit squashed, and he says, "He said, uh, I am appalled by the way you have sent this.' I'm like, it's nothing. Nothing has happened to that. It's exactly the same. Um, the box was squashed, a little bit squashed. Um, so I think that he hasn't been able to fix it. It's a bit more damaged than what he thought. If you go through the guy's feedback." There's always issues. Is he will say slight issue with blah de blah de blah, but resolved. So does that mean he's either sending them back or he is fishing for partial refunds? Um, I just said, yeah, sorry about that. Send it back, and I'll take it up with Hermes. So he did. Um, I've had to pay. The, I've, I've reported him to eBay, but I've still had to pay the postage. Um, so I might, I might call them because he, I think he's getting away with doing a lot of that, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, it says spares or repair broken, I added broken into the title. Um, it wasn't any more broken than how I sent it. Anyway, um, we've got 
another sale, a cassette recorder. I keep doing that. That's the wrong way. I'm put, they should be up there. Um, I paid a pound for this and it went to France and I got that in $29.99. Um, some Dr. Martin's boots up next. Um, I paid £20 for these and they were sold for £55 altogether, so that was a decent sale. Um, great plush sale, Pingu. Um, I paid a pound for this, uh, and that sold for twenty four ninety nine. Um, yeah, so that was a decent one for that. Um, I recently picked up, and I think they were in videos two. Paul Cardew, Alice in Wonderland teapot. So the two, it was two different car boots, and I always pick up a novelty teapot if I see them. Um, and then someone's paid fifty five pound and bought them both, um, and I went to Northern Ireland and I was dreading sending two teapots in the same box. One teapot's bad enough, so I had a box big enough. I carefully, carefully wrapped them all. And so I chose to send these by uh, DHL at the post office. Um, it was fifteen quid to send because it's it was in like a remote part of north of Northern Ireland, some farm. Um, and she left good feedback, so yeah, that was that was a decent sale in the end. I think I paid like five pounds for each one. Um, next, really good trainer sale: Nike Max Leopards. Um, I paid seven fifty for that in a recent video. Um, I was having a lot of offers on these, thirty five pound, forty pound. I think they were on for sixty nine ninety nine. So I had an offer coming of fifty five, and I took that. Um, yes, yeah, happy happy with that price. Um, and they've gone to the Netherlands. Uh, again, some more trainers. Uh, these are going to America. Uh, Bought these ages ago last year. I paid like five to eight pounds, I think. Nike Zooms, Michael Vick NFL 2005s. Uh, again, offer come in of 44, um, and I took it. Um, I think they're on for 60 pounds total. Um, yeah, so that was a decent one. Um, Pair of North Face hiking boots paid five pound at recent car boot sale, and they sold for thirty four ninety nine. Um, yeah, recent car boot sale you would have seen. I picked up uh, a calculator and a Brum little Brum car, um, and that sold for twenty four ninety nine. Um, yeah, it wasn't working the way it should. It would, it would just start up, with, even though it was off. It was like it was possessed. Um, I mean, it worked, but it didn't work the way it was designed to. I mean, it is pretty old, but, um, yeah, good, good sale from two quid. Um, some more skates and some more thirty nine ninety nine price marks. Um, I paid. Five pound for them, them skates. There was no branding. They just so I just put, I had to put inline roller skates. Not a brand at all. So yeah, they're still sold. So I'm happy with that. Um, and another novelty teapot. So this is like a, a chair and table for two. Tony Carter. Now this one I'm lucky because um, they these people live in Birmingham, so. I don't have to worry about packing it. I don't have to pay to send it. Um, I don't have to worry about it getting them one piece unless I drop it on the way. Which hopefully not. Touch wood. Um, yeah, so that was thirty nine ninety nine. Brilliant sale. Pay ten pound at um, a recent boot sale. Uh, I bought two off the same woman. She had two Tony Carters. So yeah, I do like picking up them. Some more thirty nine ninety nines. Puma Kings AstroTurf. I think they were like two fifty or three quid at a car boot sale. Um, I was getting offers on these as well. It was, they seem to be pretty popular. Um, sold for thirty nine ninety nine in the end. Um, great Tommy Hilfiger coat 
Um, I, what I did have to wait for this one. Um, it was on for 150. Um, I had an offer of 19. I took it straight away. No account, so I'm going to take that. It's paid one pound fifty. Um, it was just in a jumble of clothes on the floor at a car boot sale. Um, I think I spotted like the Tommy Hill figure sign, and um, yeah, snapped that. Um, great sale, one pound fifty into ninety quid. Um, another mini disc player um, had an offer coming. This was on for sixty pound, I think. So I had an offer coming of fifty. Uh, Midnight All Breathe. Apparently, they're an Australian band, um, and this is going back to Australia. Um, fifty quid. I think it owes me like seven pound, something. I think so, something like that. Um, a micro machines fire engine. Um, so I paid a pound for that. Pound. I think that was two pound. Um, that's over twenty nine ninety nine. So that's the toys seem to be going now. Now we're coming up. Now we're up in the, in Q four. Um, but this sold near the, near the end of end of September. It's like Q four started like a week early or something. Um, now, it, if you'd seen my um, recent, well, not recent, a few weeks ago, the trainer restoration. I've done some Nike Mogans, Nike Six Mogans. Um, they were battered. I, uh, I paid like two pound at car boot, um, and they were all like they were dirt, really dirty. Um, so yeah, give them a good clean, scrub them, shaved them. Uh, got some new laces, um, whitened up the rubber at the front. I turned that great, and yeah, they sold for fifty nine ninety nine. Um, so a really good sale for that. For, for, from from two quid, time and effort put into them, and it, it did pay off in the end. So, um, then we come to. That's not everything that sold in February. There's a lot of little bits and pieces and records and stuff, but that's the most interesting things that have sold. Um, now we bang up to date, so. There are recent sales that I haven't dispatched yet, which I've got to work on today. And they are um, some more stuff that can smash through the post. So this is a JG Meekin Studio Pottery coffee pot. So there's all sorts of things that can go wrong here. Um, I paid £5, sold it for £24.99. Um, I don't normally pick up this sort of stuff, but... The way it was presented at the car boot, it was in like a nice wicker basket. It had a nice little teapot. And I was thinking like, you know, retro camper vans, camping scene. That would go nice in a little camper van. Um, yeah, so I didn't research the price, but I got $24.99 for it in the end. Um, not a huge profit after the postage costs. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still, still money. Um, more toys um through lockdown i picked up like a, a it was like a hundred quid for three big tubs of playmobil um i think i've only listed the one i just haven't got around to putting the other sets together which i'll have to do soon to get to get rid of it um so it was the sorry Oof. um playmobil Action police station, few figures, few um, cars, helicopters, and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so that went fifty nine ninety nine. I've got like a, um, a big fire end, two fire engine sets to put together, which will be asking for the same kind of similar money. Um, a bread maker. So this is when you know lockdown is is coming. I think um, I paid four pounds in July. Breville fan assisted bread machine. It does squeak, so I had to buy some WD forty. And I'll try and fix that before it goes. Um yeah, I've got I did have three, I've got two left. Um so that was that was good. 
And the last one, and we'll finish on another $39.99 sale. Um, this was in a video recently. Disney's Lion King. Um, Lion Guard Defend the Pride playset. Um, and this is going to the Czech Republic. For $39.99. Um, yeah. I don't know. What, maybe I should list everything at $39.99. Um... So yeah, that is my September, very early October sales. Um, like I said, no car boots this weekend by the looks of it. Certainly not tomorrow. Um, Sunday, we can hope. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, this is old news. You know, I've all, I'm post most of my sales on Instagram when they come through. This will be all old news. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, drop a subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Not sure when that will be, but um, we'll, we'll cry out, think of something. See you later. Bye bye. Ugh. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, God. Hay fever. Welcome to the plush pile. All the way back. Here we got trolls. Disney. Who's back there? Baby's back.